Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburn No Matter Plays! Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist, episode 53. We're on Aster Phoenix, and you know who we're gonna beat Aster Phoenix with? We're gonna beat Aster Phoenix with Aster Phoenix. Where's he at? Aster Phoenix versus Aster Phoenix, but my Aster Phoenix is better than your Aster Phoenix. My Aster Phoenix's deck is a lot better than your Aster Phoenix's deck, so I gotta tell ya. You got bad things coming. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna go second, because I know the first thing you love to do is use that Destiny Hero Doom Lord. And banish whatever card I happen to put on the field the last turn. And I don't want that to happen. So you get to summon that card by yourself, if you want. What a mildly shitty draw, but that's okay, because we can draw one more card after this. Oh, you've got some stuff going on. I'm gonna destroy some of those stuff. Some of those stuff. Two lock cats, not what I was after. Ah, what a waste. But we have Scrap Iron Scarecrow. And we'll set Call to Haunted as well. Then we'll summon Lock Cat. And we'll attack what is hopefully Destiny Hero Defender so I can draw some extra cards. Oh, what a dick. You're gonna banish my card, huh? <clears throat> Which one was that? Oh, uh, that's... Oh, my God. Two of... The, you just used all three of your Mystical Space Typhoons. You're a dick. You can't attack, though. Oh, you banished my Lock Cat. What am I going to do? Summon another Lock Cat? Exactly. Okay. Stupid idiot. Oh, my God. You know, another Call to Haunted. Bye, whatever this is. Well, I mean, I know what it is. Don't be another Doom Lord. Oh, you got nothing. This must be the Defender. I do want to attack it. That's right, I added Soul Charge to my deck. You can add one of them. Just because there's a bunch of cards that benefit from being Special Summon from the Graveyard, it would be cool to Special Summon all of them at once in a very uh, niche. Uh, situation. Okay, it looks like you're going to Special Summon a card from your Graveyard. Probably Doom Lord to banish my card again. Because that's just what kind of dick you are. Oh, you're gonna banish my card? You can't declare an attack the turn you activate that effect, though. This is like the worst. This is the most pansy ass duel I've ever faced so far, right now. All these cards with like le no less than, no more than 1200 attack, just like battling it out right now. And it's kind of pathetic a little bit. <sighs> I don't think we need Rainbow Life on the field right now, but I guess we'll do it. Maybe Doom Lord will stay dead this time. Both of them, please. Palmization. What do you got, huh? Nothing. All right. Well, it was worth you doing that then. Now we have a card that benefits from being in the graveyard. But we don't want to send it there just yet. Since you have no more abilities to destroy my spell trap cards since your mystical space typhoons have been defeated. Or used, I should say. We will wait. We will combine Rainbow Life with Call of the Haunted to special summon Thunderclap Skywolf in an instance where it would destroy a monster of yours that would otherwise be a problem for me. Assuming we even get to that point, because right now you have shown very little resistance. And I'm gonna sweep you off your feet right now. But not in the romantic way. In the butt-fucking kind of way. Anything? Got anything? Mm, last ditch attempt. Oh, you're gonna summon Doom Lord, banish one of my monsters, and then I'll never be able to do anything about it again. Palmerization, King of the Swamp. Ah, it seems like you add King of the Swamp to your hand. Nope, Doom Lord, okay. I guess you don't want to fuse? Yeah, you summon, you banish. I don't... You're so fucking dumb. Maybe it's dumb, but maybe it's like... Do you really... Is your deck like that rigged? Or rigid? I don't... Whatever... However you say it. 
I'm gonna kill you now with my lock cats. My lock cats are single-handedly responsible for destroying you. So that's cool, I guess. Oh, thanks for Doom Lord. I guess I have your deck now. Axel Brody. I don't like Axel Brody. I do not like fighting Axel Brody. I, I didn't make a plant deck like I said I would. Because I had started this video like 10 seconds after the last one ended. Winged Beast deck against Triblaze Volcanic, though. I think I've actually proved that this can work. Not on camera, but to myself, and that's what's important. Let's do it. Masked Atticus. You kind of like look like a bird just like a little bit, like with your mask. So that's why I was like, oh, you should be Wings of Wicked Pain. You should be my Wicked Winged Beast deck person. Because you kind of look like you would have Black Wing cards. And I only have, only some of them are Black Wing cards, but enough of them are Black Wing cards to have the thing be there's a, that's a, that's thing. So I'll take Mountain. And Icarus Attack. And Black Wing Revenge. And then we're going to end our phase, because I'd rather summon Blackwing Sure the Blue Flame on a turn when it would take you off guard instead of be killed by Volcanic Rocket. Which is something you've probably summoned at this point. Two Mystical Space Typhoons, huh? Okay. I don't know what that card is and why you didn't want to attack with it, but you've probably got something going on that I am not a big fan of. So here's what I want to do. As opposed... To summoning Blackwing Shirt of the Blue Flame and killing that card, but probably because I want to guarantee do damage no matter what that uh, spell trap card might be. So that's why we do that 1500, then we battle, see what this is. It is Fiendish Chain. There you go. I made the right decision. Now, what is that card? Okay. What a fucking waste. You can't even do anything about it. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, because if I because I have Mountain, I can't special summon Cockatoo to do when your opponent has a monster. But I still have one. But Blackwing Sure the Blue Flame will go unhindered and defeat whatever this is. Die. Okay, the counter. Goodbye. Activate the effect? Yeah, I think we should activate the effect. I think we'll summon Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind for another attack. Oh, its effects are negated, but uh, who cares? I think you're stupid, because why... Oh, maybe you had to activate that effect. Maybe it's, you don't have a choice. But since you didn't have another fire monster in your graveyard, it didn't work. So, it sucks for you, I guess. Blackwing, Amamasta. Can't be destroyed by battle. Not that it really could be anyway, just based on how much attack it has. Oh, what a dick. Okay. Just banish a total of two fire and a dragon from your hand. Spetch some of this card during your opponent's end phase. But you don't have the ability to do that right now. Okay, this is the wind card that I need in my graveyard. In order to do, make Dark Samorg possible. So right now I guess we just wait for it to die. And then we have our ability. As long as it doesn't get banished, then pretty much guaranteed Dark Samorg on the next turn. Unless you don't even kill Cockatoodle Doo, which is possible, I guess, if you're... Yeah, if you have nothing, if you have absolutely nothing, then that is possible. I don't... Mm, I guess. I got level 3 XYZ cards, that's right, but I don't want to do that. Eighteen and fifteen means that you're dead unless you have something right there. Which you don't. Axel Brody was a complete pushover, so that's cool. Thanks for Blaster Dragon Ruler of Inferno Infernos, which is another banished or er, forbidden card. No, actually, it isn't. It's not forbidden. The thing that summons it is forbidden. There's, it's like a different card. Okay, Bastion Mizawa. Now this guy, this guy's got some good stuff going on. And 
because of that. Like, what do I want to defeat him with? Fusion dragons? I think so. Bastion Mizawa is where I got the idea to use Carbonetin in order to special summon Labradorite Dragon. The tuner, which then makes for some very easy high level Synchro Sevens. Soul Absorption at first. Okay. And I could turn you into Palmerization to make King Dragon right now, but I don't want to do that. So again, I, but I also. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a problem. I think we'll just set Lord of D right now. Because again, I don't like starting off making my strong monsters because they're so easily destroyed by a Rejeki or something similar. is all sorts of not I wouldn't say complicated but there's a lot of things going on at the same time that can be effectively done we're sending lots of cards from your deck to the graveyard right now and I know why it's so you can negate you can negate two of my attacks what's while having those in the graveyard right now so that's a problem it is it is a problem pendulum back is not gonna help me when I have none of my pendulum cards I can turn you into Palmerization and then summon first of the dragons. And I think that's the only option afforded to me right now. So let's do it. Cool, cool. I'll just set Pendulum back just to have a thing that maybe you want to destroy with a Mystical Space Typhoon. Alright. Oh, you chose not to negate my attack. Oh, right, because I'm unaffected by monster effects. Aha! You took the bait. <laughs> what a stupid idiot. Fossil Dig, that'll put Carbonet in. Which is exactly what you want. And then you just set Carbonetin. Don't act like I don't know that that's Carbonetin. I know exactly what your plan is. You're gonna let me destroy it, then you're banish it from your graveyard. Special summon Labrador, I drag in the tuner with 2400 defense. That I could still kill, but you'd probably, before that happens, be able to synchro summon something. So, as a problem. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna do right now is put this in my pendulum zone so during the end phase I can destroy it and then add either Time Gazer or Stargazer Magician to my stuff. Like, I almost just don't want to attack that just because I know what's gonna happen. But at the same time, I kind of don't have a choice. Really. But even if you got Leo Keeper of the Sacred Trees... You can't kill me with it. Because I can only be destroyed by battle with a normal monster. Okay, we need star... I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Stargazer is going to enter my thing next, so I'm going to pick Time Gazer. 50-50 chance. See if we got it right. Yeah, banish that. I gained 500 life points, by the way. Thank you. A level eater. Induce it. Oh, that is good. You're not even doing Leo. You're doing Goyo Guardian. Unfortunately, you still can't kill me. But you want to do 100 damage, I guess. All right. Ah, oh, pal. Almost. Oh, but I can just do this again. And this time add the other correct one. And that'll be cool. The problem is I can't put Time Gazer in as for as long as First of the Dragons is on the field. I would have to uh, let it die somehow. Stargazer! And what's 
cool about these two pendulum cards is once they are on the field, then I can pendulum summon both Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons. What the hell are you doing? Oh, you just want more cards on the field? Alright. Oh, Dragon's Mirror is good. That's something I'd want to save. Let's control the monsters. Dragon's Mirror. Which card? Okay, for f first of all, which ones will we be, we'll be able to do? We could do King Dragon. We could do... King of the Swamp won't, doesn't work in the graveyard, I'm pretty sure. We could do King Dragon. That's the old, Or we could do another first of the dragons, but we can't because you can only control one first of the dragons. So, King Dragon has like 2,400 attack, which is not enough to kill Goyo Guardian. So, right now, Dragon's Mirror is useless at the moment. But that is okay. Let's kill Level Eater. I mean, I know that Level Eater can pretty much do whatever it wants forever and just lower levels of cards by one and then special summon itself, but uh, still. Photon Thrasher, huh? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Leo! Still can't kill me, though, so... You can do more damage per attack, but... Can't kill me. Oh. Oh, I see. You got a lot of stuff. Okay, well, we are gonna have to do something about that. I mean, at this point, change to defense mode, because what am I doing in attack mode? Just taking damage. Alright, I want to set Mass Dragon. I want you to kill it. And then I can special summon a card that might be useful for a fusion of something better. Possibly? I don't know if that's even a uh, prob- or a possibility right now. Oh, that's a problem. But I'm gonna activate the effect of Mass Dragon anyway. I need you to not have Mass Dragon in your own thing. Baby Dragon. Yes. Kind of problem. But we'll do it just to have options. I'm gonna have to destroy that Mass Dragon now. Silent Doom. Oh, oh are you gonna sink? Do you have a level nine? No, it doesn't matter. I don't know what you're doing right now. Interesting. Oh, and you just another one. Of... Okay, now I need a thing. Remove from play from your side of the field or the graveyard. That will not help. We're kind of stuck until first of the dragons dies, but I need him to die in a way that will not instantly kill me by all the force that the opponent has right now. Uh, I'm gonna take... you out because I want you to not be able to synchro anymore. You need to stop with that. God, I, have what, I guess, what am I? Why bother? If you have everything that you can do to put it back? Okay, thanks for my car back, at least. Gigantic Castle. You just like those? They, they have that the, you're doing the attack? You're gonna start? That damage is gonna start racking up a little bit. That's 900 per turn now, if uh, first of the dragon attacks. Oh, we have another one of these shit. And to defense mode we go. I have no options at the moment. So we play the waiting game. And there it is, but it needs to be in my graveyard. Or so the people in my graveyard. So I could do Meteor Black Dragon. Which is the only thing that could finally kill some of these cards. 
<sighs> so we need a way to get Red Eyes Black Dragon into the graveyard. But we don't have that. What we need is use just something like Palmerization or something, but we don't have that either. Basically. Each turn, the first card in your pendulum zone that will be destroyed by an opponent's card effect is not destroyed. I'm gonna set Mass Dragon. If nothing else, your field's so cluttered, I'm gonna make sure you can't do anything else to surprise me. And it's not like you can, you know, special summon to the other side of the field anyway. Since your field is full. Oh, you know what I could do? <laughs> you know what I could have done a long ass time ago? Is, um, show card list. Five headed dragon! That would have been so helpful a long ass time ago. I kind of want to just, like, do things, like, at the same time, because I don't want to just kill one of their cards and then have an ability for you to destroy some of my other stuff. But that's kind of also stupid. Not using a palm resin. Either player can fusion summon. I don't think you have fusion monsters. The fusion material monsters are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. Wow. Fusion gate wouldn't help me right now. We're going to activate Dragon's Mirror, though. Oh, we can make Alligator Sword Dragon, which can attack directly. Oh, we can make Meteor Black Dragon. Where's Five-Headed Dragon, though? Come to me. Not the card that is on the field. That would be really silly of me. Baby Dragon, mm, all the Mass Dragons, and another Baby Dragon. Also, we're going to gain, like, 2,500 life points. Thanks to a Soul Absorption. I forgot that I had Five-Headed Dragon, because I didn't the first few times that I dueled with this deck. And I was like, oh, it's kind of a no-brainer to have this card, so I should put it in there. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's turn that in. And then... I mean, that's really all. All right, which cards... I think Goryeo Guardian needs to die. Even though it's not the strongest one, it's the one that's the most hurtful. Oh yeah, you can negate my attacks! But I gain 500 life points when you do that, so... I feel like that's Carbonid. I feel like that's why you said it. I feel like that's Carbonid. In that case, I kind of want to keep your field pure. I don't want level leader to be destroyed until the last possible moment. No, that that's another level leader then. Okay, fine. I guess. We're gonna take 900 damage, unless you decide to put your cards in defense mode, which would be uh, smart for you if you don't want to take a ton of damage from me. But at the same time, you know what's in your graveyard. You got like 12 cards dedicated to special summoning that Labrador I dragon from your graveyard. No, damn. Good job. That kills everything. If you're gonna... Yep, you are gonna do it. Oh, but not first of the dragons. Unfortunately for you. That's right. It's unaffected by monster effects. Oh, that sucks for you. It really does. Can you be special summoned from other ways? No. Too bad. I only have one of you, so I can't even make another one. Which I should probably fix that. <sighs> well, now then, set this card. Let's start killing cards. You've got to be out of Labrador Eye Dragons. They have to be all in your graveyard right now. One, two. God damn it, you do have a third one in your deck. And you're going to use it. And it's going to be another card that I can't kill. And it's going to block your life points. But if we're having a stall battle, another carbon in it. Oh, yeah, you're going to do that. And it's, oh, okay, so level 9, Gigantic Castle. But if we're having a stall battle, you're going to run out of cards before me. Uh, 
Okay. Lord of D. Not gonna help me. All, I mean, I mean it, if it, there was a way to make it not die, that would be nice. Like, safe zone Lord of D would be pretty cool. But I don't have that card. So because of this... We'll just hold our hand full. Like, I really hope that First of the Dragons doesn't die, but at the same time, like... Unaffected by the monster's effects. You know what that means. Not a bad idea to have Time Wizard try and kill Giganta Castle right now. We'll be left open in terms a little bit. Actually, we won't. Okay, so, well, at least we tried. I have another time wizard. I might have three of them. I don't think I have three of them. I think I have two. But I'd like to see that second one. Because it's like the only way. That uh, we could break through this defensive force that you've got right now. Polymerization is even not going to help. We, all our cards for fusions are in the graveyard or banished. So... I always don't have a problem. That is a little bit of a problem. Like, what am I even going to discard at this point? Oh, this, that's what we should do. I'm going to end my phase so I can discard Red Eyes Black Dragon to the graveyard. So if we get another Dragon's Mirror, I can summon a Meteor Black Dragon. Strong Wind Dragon. There we go. Now that's something that I could tribute first to the dragons and then we'd be able to kill Gigantic Castle and stuff. But it would be kind of dangerous to do so. But at the same time, I'm gonna do it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Half the original attack, which means you're gonna gain 1350. 24 plus 1350 is enough. So let's do that. Thirty-seven fifty. Goodbye, Gigantic Castle. Oh, my ass. I forgot that you can do that. But you still have got nothing that can kill me. And that better be remain the case. But if it doesn't, I have my pendulum abilities. Just, just waiting to be used. Oh, we got Dragon's Mirror again. I don't want to do that yet, though. I want to save that. Don't you do piercing damage? Yes, you do. So, let's do that. Alright, 750. That's nice. Dis oh, I have to discard from my hand. Let's get rid of Fusion Gate, then. That's not been helping me right now. Damn, you be straight up out of monsters, son. That's right. I'll die him. Okay, now let's use Palmerization just because let's make some stuff happen, huh? King Dragon seems like the thing that I want to use. Lord of D and this card. Then we can special summon a Dragon-type monster each from our hand every turn. Even though we don't have a Dragon-type in our hand that we would want to do that with. But if we ever did, at least we have the option now. Cannot select Dragon-type monsters at the targets of Spell Trap or Monster Card effects. That's right, motherfuckers. I don't know what you got. Dimensional Prison? Too bad. Not gonna work. Uh, whatever else? Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You are just gonna go straight down to hell. Oh, it's nice. I like to think that... Oh. Mm, good idea. Yeah, the continue to attack for no reason? Fine. Sure, you've got that card. He really has. That's the fourth different card that he has multiples of that is... Oh, make that five. That is specifically for Labrador Dragon. Okay, fine. You can kill that card. I don't care. You're going to kill King Dragon with Leo, though. And that hurts me a little bit, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's folly. So, I'm going to take you downtown. Uptown. And every other kind of town in between. Bye! Yep, 
You really haven't used any a lot of Call of the Haunteds. I wouldn't be surprised if that was another one. No, it's another Silver's Cry. Well, shoot, you're trying to pad your defenses, but you forget the fact that I have s piercing damage. But you're going to turn that card into something. A level 6. Scrap Archfiend. For no reason? No reason at all? Alright, that's cool. Level Eater. Uh, so you can turn that into a Scrap Archfiend? No? Uh, oh, shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Is it my turn? What are you doing? Like, you're doing too much stuff right now. Oh my fucking god right now. Do not tell me. Do not tell me, Bastion Mizawa. It's 65 to me. I'm doing really quick math. And I think what Fucking ass! You gotta be fucking kidding me! You see that bullshit? Holy f mm. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and fuck me.